Good evening. Bollywood delivers two super props back to back. Cloud Singh Chala, Raksha Bandha. So all eyes are on this big movie coming from South. Has uh, Puri Jagannath, the Midas touch man. It has uh, Karan Johar production or Dharma productions. All the money. There's also all this talk about uh, the hero of the film, Vijay Devar Kunda. You have actresses from Bollywood uh, swooning on the apparent sex appeal of the male protagonist. So, footfalls are plenty. The U turn Bollywood is waiting for. The big hit that has been eluding Bollywood. Unfortunately, none of this. At the very beginning of the movie, a character says, in fact, the protagonist says, I can't tell a story properly, but we'll try. I think that's Puri Jagannath speaking. This is a story that was not told properly. In fact, probably it was a story not worth telling. How many times have we heard of stories about people struggling and coming up in life from rags to riches? The rags to riches story is as old as the rags. The story of the rich girl, poor boy is about as old if not older. Interpolate these two stories and make one more story with a sports background. Is that all that Puri Jagannath has to offer to you in a film that has been packaged and sold across the country with so much of noise. Unfortunately, Laiga is a huge letdown, even to Vijay Devarkunda fans. Story, you have a mother played by Ramya Krishna and her responsible street vendor son in Laiga, played by Vijay Devarkunda. Now, Laiga is supposed to be a strong combination of the lion and the tiger. Until the story begins, you don't know what he's done with his life. Except he doesn't have time to shave himself. He doesn't have time to shampoo his hair. doesn't have time to present himself cleanly. Not that he does not wear designer clothes. So it's not about impoverished scenarios. Because the same poverty doesn't seem to affect the lovely sounds that Ramya Krishna is wearing. So, without sounding elitist, I believe that more than anything else, Vijay Devar Kunda needed to go through a washing machine. And he carries a look that went out of fashion with Sanjay Dutt's Kalnai, no longer in fashion. Storyline again. Here are these two people in impoverished. Mother's dream is to see her son becoming a champion of MMA, which is supposed to be mixed martial arts trophy in India. He is first the unwilling, unwitting student of a coach played by a stiff and stern Ronit Roy, who is only trying to replicate all those uh, coaches of our cinema. There is gang rivalry, first within, where you have uh, a young man played by uh, Get Up Sinu, who is one bright, energetic element in the film. After the gang settles among itself, this gang is in war with another gang headed by Sanju, played by Vishu Reddy. Yes, among the other shortcomings of the protagonist, Laida, is that he stammers. I've never seen another film where stammering is made a such a big issue of. Can you believe that in the 21st century, you have a girl and a boy going out as often as they can, meet out at parties, have a gala time, have late nights, sit in a club, and until her brother tells her, she won't know that the guy she's seen 
has a stamp. Come on. And on this flimsy line revolves the breakup between the hero and the heroine. The rejuvenation of the hero to go back to his tryst with destiny. And how he becomes a world class hero is the rest of the story. But there's still a stupid element left in the film. You have to see this film to see what they've done to Mike Tyson. Can you believe this upstart guy in a town from Kareem Nagar who goes to Mumbai is now out there in the wild west defeating Mike Tyson. Yes, you got it right. It's our Ranji player giving Don Bragman the run for his money. This is the flimsy story. How do you present it? Every five minutes there's a song here from Ananya Pandey. 